Hi, and welcome to Be Green. This is a show about making green a lot easier. I'm your host, Todd Weatherill. we got a great show for you today. Today, we're going to go to Santa Monica College to the Coffee Spot, a sustainable business right here on campus. We also are going to go out and visit the Crossroads School, and they're doing some great things transportation-wise to be green. And then we're going to go visit a place called Lotus East West. This is one of the greatest places, holistic medicine. You're going to love it. But first, being good to the environment is not just about the environment itself, but the people in the environment. How about some random acts of kindness? More on that after the coffee spot. Mike, thanks for having us here today. You're actually a local Hello. staple here at uh, Santa Monica College. You've been here 22 years on campus. 22 years already. And tell us a little bit about the coffee shop. The coffee shop, I started over here in 1988 uh, with a small coffee shop and the TCBY yogurt. In 2001, the school came up with giving this location to us to start building another coffee location, which is called Coffee Spot. Coffee Spot, yeah. And this is to cover all the needs of the north of the campus, actually. Now, you're doing some things inside that are green. First of all, let's talk about the grounds. The coffee grounds go where? The coffee grounds, actually, it goes inside the bins, and then from the bins, it goes inside the containers, which is carried every morning, is carried by the school employees to the Vermitech. A composting product. pile, yeah. Exactly. With the worms. Are we going to yeah. get to see that today? Absolutely. So Mike, you've got silverware that's biodegradable here. Obviously you use wood stirrers which help. Uh, you have Absolutely. biodegradable cups. Whatever actually it comes to be sustainable, uh, we really are in it. Even though there's a lot of difference in the cost, but ever since we became the green business over mm -hmm. here, we switched everything to the Now, I understand you have low VOC paints also. We do use only low VOC paints over here when we do any changes to the color painting and everything. And other than that, what we have is actually all biodegradable utensils that we are using. Hey, I'm really looking forward to seeing all these worms. Can you take us over there? Absolutely. Come on. It would sure help if you got the coffee grounds on the way to the compost pile, right? Hey, check this out. Employee glasses. For every employee here, they don't waste cups. 20 employees all day long, five cups apiece, that's like 100 cups saved a day. Now that's really helping the environment. Madeline, to the untrained eye, this looks like a bunch of trash, but once you start digging a little bit, what are the worms for? The worms eat our food waste and turn it into a very highly nutrient fertilizer. Now, Madeline, tell me this. Once you get done with this, once it's all composted to the point where it's, it's soil again, do you use this around campus? Yes, we do. And what do you put it in? The different uh, planter beds. Uh -huh. The gardeners come here and they take it and put it in the different They've planter beds. They've got to love beds. this. This is fuel, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we recycle about three tons of food waste a year using this. Right here in this Vermitech? Yes, yes. And in it, addition to that, you also do recycling around the campus too, correct? Yes. So what are the worms actually eating? Are they eating the food? They are actually eating the bacteria that are decomposing the food. And sometimes, they, we don't have them right now, but sometimes you'll see little sprouts growing and they can be from maybe a watermelon seed or cantaloupe and the sprout is growing but the worms won't touch it huh. because they only eat what is decomposing. Oh wow, so you do get sprouts out of here, huh? Yeah. You know Madeline, this is very impressive, this is huge. It's actually 16 feet by 8 feet. Wow, I don't think we've seen anything this size on this program. Mm -hmm. This is about as impressive as it gets. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Just between the verminator and the coffee shop, I've already got like 65 different ones. Thank you. So, whether you'd like some tea or a good cup of joe or to support the environment, you can do them all right here at the coffee spot, right here off the quad, Santa Monica College. Random act of kindness, can I pay for this? Sure. Right on. You. Now let's go visit Crossroads, one of the coolest schools right here in Santa Monica. Just the person I've been waiting for. Well, and I'm lucky. We just added a third bike rack, so I have oh, room to park this morning. Perfect. Hey everybody, I'm standing here with Jeff, who's with Crossroads Schools. How are you doing? 
I'm doing great. How about you? Wonderful. Thanks for having us. First of all, this school is amazing, and the energy is just so great. I'm so happy to be here. It's a great place to work. I've been here for a year and a half, and I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. I can see why. Now, we're here for a pretty great reason. You guys, out of all the businesses and organizations in Santa Monica, you have the highest number of employees and faculty members that either walk or ride your bike to school, to work. We are, That's huge. We're so proud of that because uh, we've been touting this uh, for a long time and actually we took steps last year to increase the alternative ways of getting to work and so we're really proud that this year uh, that work has paid off. Yeah, now what does this mean to you guys? Why do you encourage um, either walking, riding your bike or, or carpooling? Well, I'd say a couple reasons. Number one, every morning when I ride my bike across the 405 and see the slow-moving river of cars, yeah. I think we've, there's got to be other ways uh, because it's only going to get worse. And as an educational institution, we want to set the example for our kids that there are other ways to get around, especially in a small community like Santa Monica. So a lot of other employees that you work with, they, they also do the same, right? We have employees walking, biking, taking the bus. Uh, we have 13 people that walk, actually. Okay. Uh, we have three people that take the bus, and we have 27 bike riders. Right, and I think I heard 49 carpoolers, That's right? That's right. We also uh, have incentives for people who carpool to work. So what would you say to other businesses or, or organizations that, you know, they want to start encouraging their employees to, to do the same? What would you say to them? I'd say that you need to get over the hump of making it seem like a inconvenience. Um, okay. And once you have people actually doing it and seeing how easy it is, uh, then it really starts to catch on and you cross that tipping point. And we've, we have found that the incentives and disincentives were what we needed to pass that tipping point. It's wonderful. And everyone seems so happy here, so it must be working. So this is great. It's a happy place. Well, I'm excited. I want to see um, you kind of like day in the life. You're going to be all riding right. your bike. And yes. I think we're going to meet up with some other people that, that skateboard and do all sorts of things. So great. let's check it out. All right. Not only is the school cool, the teachers are cool too. So you really walk to work every day? It's great. What a great way to to start your morning at the end of the day. Hey, he's a walker. Hi, hey, Ash. Hi. Yeah. Well, every great day today, huh? Oh, so friendly. Yeah. So you get your exercise, right? I do, and it's it beats sitting in the gym. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> and you don't have to get in your car and spend the money on gas. No and kidding. All that other stuff. No kidding. And sitting in traffic. And uh, it's traffic is you know a beyond. Um, I think everybody's thinking about traffic. Yeah. But also, yeah, it's green. It is. It's green. And you're wearing green. I am. Gail, how'd you know we were coming today, huh? <laughs> Can I walk you somewhere? Yeah. Let's... Hey, there's Jeff. Jeff, wait up. We didn't get to say, to say goodbye. Oh. Thank you so much. The school is so wonderful. Oh, well, thanks for visiting. Absolutely. And thanks for recognizing all of our bike ridership. Yes, keep up the good work. All right, Next thank year, you. it's going to be even more of that. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Ride safely. Right. Simple random acts of kindness. Now let's go over to Lotus, doing some pretty awesome stuff. You know, we found a very special place here at 2104 Wilshire Boulevard. It's called Lotus East West Medical Center, and I'm joined now with Brendan Arm, who is actually a doctor here of acupuncture and Eastern medicine. I just wanted to come and see how you guys are doing, and if you could tell us a little bit about this place. Sure. We opened this place about four years ago, and uh, we offer acupuncture and oriental medicine. Uh, we also have doctors of naturopathic medicine as well and we also have psychotherapy and psychology. Now, it's, it's not just the medicine here that makes it special. You guys are actually the first medical center that was a certified green business here in uh, uh, Santa, Santa Monica. Monica, so tell us how you did that. Sure, my wife and I, we've always been passionate about eco-friendly products. When we created this place, we, we started uh, from scratch, so we had a, a clean pallet to build the whole place. One of our favorite things was we put down formaldehyde-free bamboo flooring, which is uh, just, it feels great to walk on, holds up great, and it's eco-friendly. Also. The, the jip board where we put up the walls are all recycled paper and even to the lighting. Inside the rooms are dimmable lights to reduce electricity. 
Now, talk to me about this. Um, in, in a medical center mm -hmm. situation, you want things to be completely sterile. Do the biodegradable stuff, does it work as well as, uh, as the other products? Absolutely. When we went through it all, it wasn't a trouble finding you know, organic blankets to put on people to keep them warm. It wasn't any trouble to find paint that was no VOC. All of our charting is even done. They call it electronic medical records. So we don't have files and files and files of just paper here. You know, there's lots of ways of just being creative and, and making it green. Well, you know, um, I'm feeling a little under the weather, actually. I was sure. wondering if there was something maybe you could do for a, a cold that's coming on. Sure, sure. Well, why don't we go take a look and I'll, I'll uh, make up an herbal formula and uh, we'll see where it goes. Right on, thank Sounds you. Sounds good. So, Dr. Arm, what are you going to make me here? Okay, I'm going to make you an herbal, herbal formula that's going to help strengthen your immune system. And what is this? Uh, it's actually an herbal formula uh, called Buzong Ichitong. It has eight different herbs in it, and uh, it's very, very good for strengthening the immune system, very good for the digestion as well, helping the energy, help for stress. Let it brew for a few minutes, drink it up, and enjoy. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's good. It's kind of got a, like a cinnamon taste to it almost. Yeah, generally, chi that, that's a nice chi tonic, so generally chi tonic's a little sweet. When you swallow it, it actually comes up the reverse side of your sinuses, too, sort of. Yep. Wow, that's pretty cool. I can feel it working already. Well, now that I got you, okay. I have a ton of old sports injuries. Uh, can I you see. tell me what acupuncture helped me? Sure. Well, probably better than telling you, maybe I go show you, and then we can do it. That would be awesome. I'm up for that. Sounds good. I know. Okay, let's go to the room. All right, Doc, I had a, a rebuild on the knee here, and that's where I have a lot of arthritis. What can you do for me? Okay. Well, I'm going to do some acupuncture on the knee. We'll see how you respond. Please lay down. Yeah, good. You have your knee up. Great. You going to tell me when you put it in? It's already in. Didn't even hurt. Now, could you tell me why you picked the points that you did? Sure. These are referred to as command points for the knees. Um, they're different points that help to uh, promote circulation through the knee, um, help promote uh, healing if there's uh, like bursitis inflammation in the knee, or even um, if like a tendonitis, or even sometimes arthritis into the knee, you know, to um, help uh, in Chinese medicine, there's pain in the knee when the, they call it the chi or blood is uh, getting obstructed. So basically the circulation through the knee is getting obstructed, therefore you have pain. So basically these points are used to help promote circulation through the knee. So listen, I just wanna let you rest for a little bit now. Uh, I'm gonna leave them in for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna step out and then uh, I'll come back and see how you're doing, okay? Thank you. You got it. Okay, Todd, I'm gonna take them out. Oh, good nap. Dr. Arm, this has been a great experience for me. Thank you. The knee feels good. I can feel good. the circulation through the bottom. Uh, you guys are at 2104 Wilshire. Can you tell them your uh, telephone number? Sure thing. 310-828-8258. Uh, uh, Folks, you got to come down and check out this place. I've had a great time here. It's not only green, it's also really healthy. Man, that was relaxing, and I do feel green right about now, sitting in a beautiful tree here in Santa Monica. Guys, this show was awesome today. I appreciate you tuning in. And for Natalie Horton and Todd Weatherill, don't forget to be green.